There's someone swimming away from the shore. Everything seems normal. People swim all the time. But then the waves start picking up and starts hitting them, battering the person swimming until you no longer see them anymore. This goes on for a while, long enough where everyone knows that the swimmer is tired. Some forget that the swimmer is even there. So what is the best course of action? Does the swimmer keep swimming and keep trying to get to the top? Or do they take a break? Now, taking a break seems insane, I know. But the swimmer realized that if you're under the waves, you no longer can be hit by them. That the closer they get to the top, the harder that it'll get because of the waves, and they're not even close yet. They're already tired. What's the harm in taking a second for themselves and just doing nothing? Honestly, I don't have an answer. I've been dealing with the question myself. And I've realized a few other variables that can come about. Some people in those situations choose to get an oxygen tank. This is interesting because while, yes, you can survive longer underwater, it weighs you down. So, are you really striving for something or are you just surviving through something? For me personally, I've been put in a place where I'm not sure whether I should just keep going in the direction that I'm going or just float, just stay under the waves. Because every time I get close, it just becomes that much more painful. There's too much water around, I can't exactly ask for help. So, no one's throwing a life vest or life preserver or anything. So, where do I go from here? After asking myself that question, I kind of realized that it's something that can be extended to more people. It's not exclusive to me. It's a human issue. When you're tired, what do you do? When you're uncertain, what do you do? Do you put on the facade of confidence, parade through life, showing your strength that has been fabricated in your own bedroom? Or do you allow yourself to be vulnerable and show that I don't know what's happening? What is the real sign of strength? All of these questions are just to say that there's a lot going on beneath the surface. You can see the waves, you can see the storm, you can see the ocean, but you will never truly be able to see what's going on beneath the surface of it. to be considerate.